What's up, people? This is Spade Wrestling coming to you here, not live, just coming to you here about the WWE draft. I had a whole uh, booking uh, draft before the idea of me booking the whole draft before the draft even comes out, but it, it came out and in my draft kind of crashed. Like, you know, some it, like errors happened. I don't know what happened. So, now, WWE's draft, you know, it was going to, oh, change the game. Uh, I'm going to change the game. Uh, no, it didn't change the game. It made it fucking miserable, in my opinion. What a fucking waste of a WWE draft. Day one was okay. I like day one. Okay, I'll say. Not pretty great. Okay. When I saw these legends come, I was like, okay, they gotta be somebody's gonna be a general manager. No fuck no. No new stages, no nothing. Just damn shit in and fuck off, everybody. Bro, this was absolutely dog shit awful of a WWE draft I've ever seen. My favorite one as building stars as a WWE draft is 2008 and 2016. Break out. I started watching wrestling 16 years ago. I'll give my whole idea about that, how I've been become a wrestling fan for my old hoops of stuff like that. But that draft, dude. Why? Like, why would you even think of doing something like this? Why would you want your uh, child not to become more cool and sending LA Knight to Monday Night Raw instead of keeping him on Friday Night SmackDown and make him fucking lose every single match. Granted, he won on SmackDown. Still, I don't care. He lost a lot. His booking on SmackDown was not that great, and we know that. So, moving on, on to the draft. It was okay. My draft now. So my draft will have general managers and will have commissioners. We're running it back to 2016. You know what they did? They brought those. Uh, they brought NXT superstars, NXT pro wrestlers, on their uh, in the performance center to show them that oh, it can be as great as 2016. Oh, what a shocker! Indie Hardwell. Oh, what a shocker! Um, what a shocker! What else there was? I think. Cameron Grimes. We know Cameron Grimes is going going to uh, SmackDown or Raw, whatever. We were we were we knew it. So, but it didn't feel what was twenty sixteen in my opinion. It didn't feel like it because it was a reboot of twenty sixteen, and they didn't really deliver. It didn't change up anything. Oh, people were really mad back in the day of about the authority angle. Oh, the authorities always all the time. Stephanie McMahon. Oh, Stephanie McMahon is a part of the Monday Night Raw and uh, Mick Foley and stuff, bro. I think that was much entertaining with the dog shit we got right now. And like St even Stephanie McMahon, I don't like the authority. They were cool for time, but then it got stale. But but there were. Something iconic, and I feel like they should be in the Hall of Fame too. So the authority angle, I, you know, it was a great angle, in my opinion, but it didn't like. It was like it was like people had the problem of these general managers or the authority figures who are you know mean to them or like like a Karens or something, or like these angry bosses that don't respect or don't care about their. Stars, they don't. They're for the heel, the heel party figures. I don't, I don't feel like we don't need them anymore. Obviously, we don't need those. It's not great authority figures. But at least Stephanie Miller being a heel party figure and Shane being the face party figure. I kind of love, I love the dynamic. I loved it. Moving on. Let's fuck on this shit now. Okay. So. My draft is going to have a lot of uh, superstars. And I will write down, down, down below. So let's get it done with my draft. This was a fucking five minutes to tell you all about this nonsense. 
I'm just gonna press hit right now. So this draft only WWE superstars are eligible to be drafted. Injured, all WWE superstars sorry are eligible to be drafted. Injured WWE superstars are free agents. Tag teams and factions can be split, and WWE draft is on Saturday and Sunday. We're doing a draft days. We're not doing it on Monday Night Raw on SmackDown. We're going to make it special. We have to make it look special. It cannot be a draft on SmackDown and then on Raw. I don't fucking like that idea. I think that's fucking stupid, and they should have never fucking done that. So, let's get it rolling with it. Oh. The commissioners for Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown are... It's Pat McAfee! McAfee as a commissioner! Wade, this is so exciting, Wade! McAfee's coming to SmackDown, but he's gonna be a authority figure! Look who's gonna rock Corey Graves! It's going to Monday I rise the commissioner! This was very right fresh indeed! The strap is really crazy! Was, I was tough on the first one you tell them I should have been able to show that to me. It's so funny. But, bro. This is great. This is what I feel like we need. I've seen enough of Corey Graves and seen enough of I have not commented or forget what she is in the world and that's the world. And Corey Graves has always been a interesting uh, figure in this film. He was our rich days, but now, you know, he gained respect and I feel like he should be the uh, commissioner. So he's the commissioner and Pat Mackie was the thing he was a great part of the world too. So, let's get it rolling. pick of the first round of the WWE Draft Sunday sorry Saturday Raw Select The Undisputed WWE Universal Champion The Head of the Table The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns so, player, that means the world heavyweight champion is gonna be crowned on Friday night SmackDown player. So SmackDown selects player, the number one pick Friday night SmackDown player is gonna be the architect Seth. Rollins! That's how we do it, player. It is my distinct honor for us to welcome to Monday Night Raw The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes! Hello? I'm getting word that an injured free agent, a injured wrestler has joined 
the brands. Let's see which brand would be and who is this injured last year. We don't know. It'll be a surprise to hear though. I can't believe we got this pick. Let's run Pat McAfee on the stage. So, y'all pick up Monday Night Raw with Randy Orton, huh? You gotta guess Randy Orton. He chose to go to Raw. But we choose this star. He is the rated R Superstar. Edge. That's a shocking pick that it gets. Edge finally moving to Friday Night Smackdown. Coming back to the blue brand. That's a great pick. Love that pick. Which he made it famous as being the world heavyweight champion. Can he be world heavyweight champion again? Okay. So, we keep the Bloodline Saga, and these all my all my picks. This is how I will rebook WWE Draft 2023. Let's change the game, this time for real. I'll be like, for real, we're gonna change the game for real. Ain't no dog shit anymore. That fucking shit is out of the way. We're changing the game for real. Part one, as we can say. More to it. See y'all later. Peace. Spades out.